98% uh, will not be ultimately useful, but will give you learning of things that don't work that will guide, that will make you, allow you to make alterations in different directions to go on the paths that do work. 2% of the dates or or people that you meet romantically, uh, you know, will lead to, uh, you know, something uh, that is ultimately uh, uh, reinforcing and, uh, you know, permanent or semi-permanent uh, for you if that's what you're looking for. Um, so let me just unpack this a little bit. So if 2% of the information is valuable that you come to, that means that um, either either you're uncovering a ton of information so that you have a lot to sift through and 2% is still, you know, manageable, is still, uh, you know, enough to, to benefit you. Or if you're not, you know, I'm, I'm peeling a lot of layers of the onion, then you're not going to wind up with anything. So if you're just going with like the first, second, third thing that you come to, then you're not going to have a life of success because we live in a, a world of complexity now, ever increasing, uh, law of accelerating returns, and people that just do... See, these are the people that get overly routinized. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with watching TV all day, but if you just get into a habit where you're just doing the first thing that comes to mind, or, you know, you're not really... You're living in the same world as, as other people, but you're not actually living in the same world mentally um, or in your experiences, because they say the future is already here. It's not. It's just not evenly distributed. And people are living in many, many, many different kinds of worlds, even though we all live on planet earth uh currently so in terms of the two percent um you know always be looking for new information there's there's uh one of the books i read uh, recently and i read constantly i just had a new podcast on uh learning is becoming doing and that that explains some of the reason for it um of of why learning is is overtaking even doing and importance to a certain extent uh which has never happened before um and um, the reason I'm always uh, learning is because just the amount of information that's out there in the competition, you have to be informed in your doing, uh, not just doing things, you know, blindly. And um, so the book that I read, I forget which book I read, otherwise I would cite it, talked about the ratio between um uh, learning new things versus exploiting what you already have. It says, I forget the exact percentage, but you want to do a certain percentage of exploring. And then once you have uh, gone through all the best options and you want to pick one, and then you want to start exploiting, uh, exploiting obviously the, in the positive use of the term. Uh, so you want to start you know, getting the benefits from the choices that you've made. Like if you are in a new city, you want to spend a certain amount of time going to new restaurants, if you like going to restaurants. And then after you found the restaurants that you like, you want to spend a certain amount of time going to those restaurants as many times as possible. Because if you, if you always are searching for new things, you'll never be able to enjoy the things you've already found. It's like if you always are searching for a new mate, you won't be able to enjoy the mate that you have or already could have. So the 2% rule is basically a an examination, an illustration of the fact that in today's world, you have to be able to sift and sort and let a lot of things go. I mean, in, emotionally, if you're not strong, it's kind of difficult to do that because you're like, oh, you know, I'm only keeping 2%, I'm letting 98% go. It just feels like I'm not getting anything out of this. But, you know, pruning is is critical to success in life. You have to get rid of the unessential and uh, just go to like a library. Like I had a book on the streaming, of, a podcast on the streaming of libraries. You know, most books, the information you could get out of them, it used to be the 80-20% rule was was critical that the Pareto principle, I think it's called, the, the 20% of your success comes from, uh, uh, 80% of your success comes from 20% of your time or the material. And that's still true. But with all the proliferation of information that's out there, uh, I would say that uh, if 80% of your success comes from 20% of your time, then I would say 75% of your success, uh, at least, comes from 2% of your time. So that extra 18%, uh, you know, is, is basically useless. I mean, you can do, you can be as productive just holding out to 2% as you can be holding out to 20%, because in the law of accelerating returns, the top uh, the top two percent 
is uh, basically if you're if you're discerning well, the top two percent is is pretty much all you need.